One morning, Bill and Ben were busy at the quarry, pushing and pulling cars filled with clay into their proper places. The twins are cheeky and love playing tricks, but they were growing restless. Listen, Bill, said Ben, can you hear something? What sort of something, asked Bill. Something different, replied Ben. I can't hear anything different, said Bill. Exactly, huffed Ben. Everything is the same. Sounds the same, looks the same. What we need is a surprise. Surprise what? asked Bill. Before Ben could answer, the quarry master arrived. I have just received a message from Sir Topham Hatt. He wants you to go to the station at the harbor. I wonder what we've done wrong this time, said Bill anxiously. It must be you, replied Ben. Why me? exclaimed Bill. I've not done anything. Edward is taking the children on a special trip today. I want you to go to the station and look after cars there. We'll do our best, sir, said the twins. Gordon spoke severely to them. You must behave here. You're on the main line now. Actually, Gordon, giggled Ben, when we saw you, we thought this was the scrapyard. Gordon was cross. Just make sure that my coaches are ready for my evening train. And he fumed away. The twins laughed and set to work. This is easy, they said to each other. We know all about cars. But I'm afraid they didn't. No need for that, shouted the cars as the twins pushed them into place. We'll show you around. We want to help. Thank you very much, said Bill and Ben. The cars giggled and began their tricks. Evening came. The yard was in a dreadful muddle. The twins had let the cars tell them where to put things. Gordon and the passengers waited impatiently outside the station while Bill and Ben tried to sort things out. But by the time Gordon was able to leave, it was very late indeed. The next day, Ben was still grumpy. That Bill, imagine getting in my way on the turntable. He's a really silly engine. The way I heard it, sighed Boko, it sounded like you were both to blame. Puh, you must have heard it all wrong. The twins grumbled about each other all day. Even kind Edward lost patience. All this grumbling spreads bad atmosphere in the yard. You're quite right, and that's why I've come up with a plan. Boko whispered his plan to Edward. Then his driver told Sir Topham Hatt. I'll start making arrangements right away. The next morning, he called Bill and Ben into the yard. Boko is taking a special train to the harbor. His regular heavy goods train is waiting on the siding. You can pull it together. But, but, protested Bill and Ben, who were still not speaking to each other. Good, I knew I could rely on you two. I'll take the train myself, huffed Ben. Go right ahead, said Bill. Ben was coupled up to the train of freight cars, but they were too heavy for him to move alone. Go on, teased Bill. I can't, said Ben. Then suddenly both twins laughed. I don't think we'll take turns this time, Ben, said Bill. I think we'd better pull together. Ben was delighted. It was good to be helping each other. Best of all, it was good to be friends again. <laughs>